Hello, I'm John Dickey, author of uh, the forthcoming Blood Brotherhoods. Blood Brotherhoods is a parallel history of Italy's three most feared, most powerful criminal organisations. Cosa Nostra, the Sicilian Mafia, Comora, the Mafia of Naples, and the Indrangheta, the Mafia of Calabria, which is the region in the toe of the Italian boot. Anyone who's read my uh, Cosa Nostra, my history of the Sicilian Mafia, which came out in 2004, might wonder why I'm returning to the same subject. And really there are two reasons. First is that we learn an awful lot about the Mafia uh, by comparing it with the other two Mafias, with the Camorra and the Andrangheta. We, just, we, we see it much more clearly in that comparative light. And the second reason, just as important, is that I and other researchers have made some dramatic new findings that have completely changed our perspective on the early history of the Mafia, uh, even in the last couple of years. There are so many misconceptions out there about the Mafia and about their history. Um, one of the reasons for that is that the Mafias themselves, all of them, have been very careful to spread misunderstandings about themselves. They've even begun to believe their own publicity about their having ancient origins, about the, the, the Camorra for a long time believed that it was born from a Spanish secret society of the 16th century. The Spanish secret society never existed. Um, so one of the most powerful myths that I've tried to tackle in this book, however, is relates to the family. It's often assumed outside Italy that the Mafias are really families. They're full of uncles and cousins and mothers and fathers and so on. They're families in that sense, kin groups. Actually, the Mafias are a very careful, fiendishly cunning system for manipulating family, for using family. And one of the themes in the book, using family, particularly using women, one of the big themes in my book is how the Mafias have evolved to exploit family relationships and to exploit women.